Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I'm up in my office and I have my new Fly Lady Control Journal here and I have a couple of updates I wanted to share with you about how I'm using my control journal, what I'm using for a control journal and how the Fly Lady system is once again helping me get things done around my home. So welcome to my office. As you know, I have been following the Fly Lady system for a long time, and of course it ebbs and flows. Sometimes I'm really into it, and I'm doing all my things and getting everything done, and then there's times like a few weeks ago when I was under the weather that I just sort of did the bare minimum. Toilets didn't get cleaned very often, laundry mostly got done, and the kitchen sort of looked okay, and I just left it at that. So that's what I love about the Fly Lady system is it's a very forgiving system, and she's all about being kind to ourselves, and that includes not worrying about it when life happens and you have to just sort of make it work and live in the moment. So um, having said all of that, I wanna show you what I'm using currently for my Fly Lady control journal. So this is what I have. It's just a little clip folio. I have several pages clipped on the front each day and then inside there's a pad of paper and I just keep the extras all tucked in there. So I'm going to turn the video in just a minute but I have to show you what I was using for my control journal and you can see why this is such a big change. Okay, are you ready? So this giant binder is what I was using as my Fly Lady control journal. And as you can see, it's ridiculous. And this, you know, compares by that. That's a little bit of a difference. This big old thing is heavy. It's hard to use. And obviously I haven't used it in a long time. So let me flip the camera around and I'll kind of talk to you about why I changed, what I'm doing different, and how it's working. So here we go. These are the things that I'm using on a daily basis as part of my new and updated Fly Lady control journal and Fly Lady system. So first, I just want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to a fellow YouTuber that I discovered recently. Her channel is called That Awkward Mom. She's cute. She's fun. She makes light of all the struggles we have being moms. And she did a video not too long ago just talking about her Fly Lady Control Journal. It was very simple and streamlined and it inspired me to redo my system. So as you saw, I have that humongous binder and as I was updating things, I was looking through my old notes and my old routines and a lot of them mentioned things like nurse my daughter who's now seven. So that tells me I haven't used it in probably six plus years. So that is one sign that it wasn't working. Also, as you saw, it was a humongous binder and it's filled with all of the reference material that I thought I would need for whatever reason. Granted, part of it is a whole bunch of checklists for our family business. And since the fall of 2020, we have put our family business on hold. My husband still has his day job. I still have my part-time jobs, including my Jordan Essentials business. And just the way things were going with the pandemic and with the school system, my daughter was on a hybrid mode. So every other day I was home with her trying to be the homeschool mom, which I'm not great at. And then also trying to run our business out of her home. And by the fall of 2020, we both were just kind of in the position where we felt like it wasn't worth the added stress of trying to keep up with it. And so we decided to temporarily close our doors. And at this point, we're not sure when we'll reopen, if we'll reopen, because we are enjoying the updated change to our family lifestyle with not having that family business run out of our home. So all of that to say, a lot of that binder was things that I don't even need anymore because it was checklists and things that I was needing as reference material for the family business. Plus, there were just like home projects that I've either done or I don't care to do anymore. There's just all kinds of things in there that I could go through and clean it out. But before I even did that, I realized I wanted a simpler system. So a couple of updates here. One thing is I was using, and I still have these timers around, like the digital timer that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I think I got this one at the hardware store. It was a little bit fancier or nicer, but it's already been dropped multiple times. I've had to re-glue the magnet back into it. And I'm just not in love with that digital beeping sound. And when I was watching That Awkward Mom, she had a timer like this. And I think hers 
might have been digital, but when I was online, just on Amazon looking, I decided what I really like is something without a battery that I don't have to change. I like the old jangle that the classic timers had when I was a kid. So this one has a tick. It has the color change so you can see how much time is left and I'm a visual person. They actually recommended this for kids and for homeschooling and stuff like that. And I thought, well, it will be fun for my daughter too because that's something that I'm always trying to get her you know, on board with using a timer. It definitely helps me. And then what I love is the sound is a very nice, quick jingle and then it stops. Whereas like my digital timers, I always had to go run from the other room and turn them off. And I just don't like that feeling of anxiety that these digital timers were bringing me. So in a second, this will go off. There we go. So it's just a nice, quiet little jingle. I do have to carry it with me. So often I'll bring that around and just have it around with me as I'm doing my routines, which is fine. It is magnetic and this whole back is magnetic, so it sticks onto the fridge great. And because it's a little bit bigger, I haven't had the problem of feeling like I'm gonna drop it as easily. And it's just got a little more weight and heft to it, so it feels like a substantial object. No battery and it'll last forever. So I'm really happy with my new purchase of this timer. It's a little thing, but when I started really thinking about what was not working with the old system. It was just all these little things like that that were making it not fun to do my fly lady routines. And the point is you wanna get them done, make it easy, make it as enjoyable as possible so that you do them. So that's one change I made. I also grabbed a new pack of dry erase markers from Target and I liked that they had different colors. I think this set came with five or six colors. So I'll link it down below. It's on Amazon too, but I just happened to be in Target and I like that it was a click. And so it's not a lid that I am going to lose and it has a little notch so it doesn't roll off the table, which is also good. All right, now getting down to my system. So let me take these off for a minute. One of the things I realized is I had two of these clip folios. They are just, you know, like a laminated cardboard. I think I got them at... Office Max or Office Depot, who knows, seven, eight years ago, 10 years ago, I'm not even sure. But I liked the pattern and so I've kept them all these years and used them for various things around the house because I thought the colors were pretty. I liked that it was a little something different. I'm a type three in the Dressing Your Truth system and it's so funny to look back and see the things in my life that I picked because I liked the paisley pattern, which is a type three pattern. I liked the colors. Well, these are all type three colors. So at the time I had no clue what dressing your truth was, but here I was picking things out that totally coordinated with it. So as I showed you before, inside it came with this pad of paper, which I thought, well, that's handy if I need it for notes. But I also was thinking about a binder versus something like this clip folio. And the other thing I liked about having the clip folio, let me backtrack a little bit, is I like that I just have one paper size sitting on the counter versus when I had my binder, you know, the binder would be sitting open like this, which is just a lot bigger, takes up more room. And I wanted something that felt streamlined and easy. And something about this clipboard system just makes me feel very official. Like I am definitely the CEO of my home running around with this little clipboard. So anyway, back to what I was saying about the inside. So I, what I keep on the front is my list of daily routines. And this is something I borrowed from that awkward mom because she had a page that was morning, afternoon, and evening. And of course I revamped all of these so that they are actually the things I'm doing now in this current phase of my life. There's no longer things on there like have tummy time for my daughter, <laughs> which is what was on there before. So the other thing that I could add to the back of this is like a whole cheat sheet. She had a page that was basically all the daily focus items, all of the, um, like a short list of all of the zone cleaning things, but I kind of know all that by heart by now, so I don't really feel like I need it. So I have my daily routines that I go through every day, wipe them off after I'm done at the end of the day, do as much as I can. I'm not always this good and have all the check marks, but it's good just for me to kind of look at and reference as I'm going through the day. Then I have that day's checklist and I updated all of these because I had old things on there that had to do with the family business that aren't even relevant anymore. And I decided I wanted to add a few things in here that were with my Jordan Essentials business or even with my YouTube channel because I noticed she had a day where she said finish 
YouTube video. So she has one a week, which is what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to post on Sundays, trying to keep to a schedule. And if I have that on a checklist for Friday, then it reminds me I need to, if I haven't filmed it yet, I need to film it and get it edited and uploaded for you so that you can see it. So this second sheet actually has two days on it. So one side is Monday and then the back side is Tuesday. And as you can see, I didn't get everything done. I did most of the things. I thought of something that I wanted to film, which was where I wrote that down for you guys. And I'm filming it now. I thought I was gonna film it Monday. I didn't, it's no big deal. So that's been helpful just to have these daily routines on here. And then the final page I'm keeping clipped on the front is my zone cleaning page. And these are still kind of a work in progress. I think I wanna go through and streamline these a little bit more because I definitely have a lot on here. And like, this is something I know I really do need to do on a monthly basis, but it isn't on my list. So I added that and then I feel like there's some things here that I don't really need on this list. So down the road, I might update my zone cleaning pages, but I just pulled these out of the binder for now. All right, then going inside. I know I said I was gonna do that earlier, but my brain bounces around. So inside, I just keep the extra pages. So I do have, this is kind of my monthly zone cleaning um, detail page, and it does talk about how the Fly Lady system works. So this is an example month, but basically zone one is whatever the first week is. Even if the first day of the month falls on a Saturday, or if you start your weeks on Monday, if the first day falls on a Sunday, whatever the last day of the week is for you, then that's your zone. And you have one day to do the zone, which is why zone one, at least for me, kind of follows along with the fly lady because those areas don't get used as much. They're more the formal entertaining spaces in our home. And so I, they don't get as dirty and I don't need to do as much zone cleaning there. The second week is always gonna be a full week. So the second, third, and fourth week will always be full weeks, no matter what day of the week the month starts on. So those are areas of your home that you're probably gonna to need to spend a little more time in. And then the final week, the fifth week of the month is just like the first. Sometimes you'll have a lot of days in the fifth week. Sometimes it might fall on a Sunday or a Monday and you'll only have a few days that week to do your zone five cleaning. So I kind of updated ours to be things that I know don't get as dirty or I don't need to clean as often. And that way I don't have to worry about only having one or two days if it falls that way on a month. And even if it does, you can just focus on what's most important. And then you know next month you'll have a week five again and you can have maybe more days that month to do some extra zone cleaning. Again, the Fly Lady system is super flexible. She's always saying, just make it work for you. She kind of gives you the structure and the guidelines, but the whole point is to do what works for you and your situation and your family. And then I started in with my zone cleaning. And once again, I feel like some of these things I probably don't need on here anymore. So I need to go through and kind of update that. So I have my zone cleaning pages in here and they're pretty long. That's why I also wanna update them. And then I also have my extra daily pages. And I'm also putting things on here like my Jordan Essentials business. I wanna to try to make sure I'm following up with my customers. If not daily, then at least on Friday, spending a little time to do our follow-up Friday. And I have on here too to finish my YouTube video. And then I also combine Saturday and Sunday because I don't feel like we have as much stuff on those two days or we're just kind of not ever sure what our schedule is going to be. Sometimes we're out and about and doing things or we have activities. Sometimes we're home. So I like keeping those pretty simple. And then I did come up with a Sunday prep. And this is kind of what was the precursor to redoing my control journal. About, I don't know, maybe two or three months ago, I just felt like our week was always kind of starting off feeling behind, at least to me. Like I would get to Monday morning and think, oh my gosh, I haven't even checked my daughter's backpack. I don't know if she's got clothes ready. I think there was a note I was supposed to sign and send back. Our trash gets picked up Monday morning. So that is kind of the starting point where I thought, if I just make sure I get our trash to the road on Sunday, and get a few things together so we're ready for the week to start. Then I know I'll wake up and Monday morning won't feel so crazy and chaotic. So first, the very first thing I did was I just grabbed a couple of post-its and did a brain dump and jotted down the things I thought, okay, this is what we need to get done today. And I laid it out on the counter because I wanted my family to see, here's what I'm trying to work on. What can you guys help me with? You know, what can we do together? 
And that evolved into me putting it on a piece of paper, sticking it in a sheet protector. It's not pretty. I've scratched through. I ended up, because that first day I actually used it, then I went back and thought, well, why don't I put this in a sheet protector and keep reusing it? Because we're always doing the same thing. So then I whited out the check boxes. <laughs> so it's not pretty, but it works. So basically I have it kind of focused in on the different things that I need to do. Trash is here. And then for a while, I was not doing my load of laundry a day. And I've decided I like doing that better because it feels like less work. So I have shifted back to doing the fly ladies method of one load of laundry per day. But I wanted to show you this as an option. If you're someone who works full time or for whatever reason you just feel like that is not how you wanna do your laundry, then for a while, maybe three or four months, I was doing it where I just did most of our laundry on the weekend. So that was my you know, quick checklist was just to make sure I'm getting the majority of the laundry done, whatever needs to be done on the weekend. And then I had things to do to just kind of get the house ready for the week, making sure we're cleaning out our bags, which is actually on the Friday list now. So I'm going back to doing that on Friday and then um, tidying up the house and doing some floor work and um, sweeping and mopping if needed. So this would be another way to do the fly lady system if you wanna focus it in on one or two days. Sometimes I still do it this way, so that's why I'm keeping it in here, but it's just a nice way to have that reminder of what am I trying to get done to make sure our week starts off on the right foot. So like I said, these all just live in the little pocket here, and then every morning I change out the day of the week one, and then once a week, I just change out the zone that we're in. And sometimes I get it all done or get a lot of it done. Sometimes I don't, and it's totally fine. So this has just made it a really quick, simple, and easy system for me. I hope that it gives you some ideas or some other methods. You can certainly put all this information into a small binder. <laughs> it does not have to be a two inch binder. If it grows and you use it and it's a big binder, but you like it because it has all the things in it, then that's great. That's what works for you. I thought that's what I was doing, but then I realized over time it just got to be overwhelming. And that's something that I always have to keep in mind is I tend to overcomplicate and get too caught up in the details and then I won't do it because I get overwhelmed. So I have to remember to keep it simple, sweetie. That old acronym KISS always is a good reminder for me. And then finding a few updates to make it fun. You know, I like looking at this clipboard because it's pretty and it's fun. It's light, it's easy to carry around with me. And like I said, it makes me feel very official when I have my clipboard with me. And I will mention that some of the things that were in my giant binder are now just in other areas. Like I have a separate binder that has become our family resource binder. So that's where I have things like addresses and phone numbers of my daughter's friends and her school information and her doctor information and our insurance information. And then I also keep our budget information in there. So that book has become the other half of my control journal, but it's current and it's what we're actually using now. But I don't need to carry that information around with me every day when I'm just doing my household chores. And then of course I have my planner and my planner is where I keep appointments and my personal to-do list, but it helped a lot to get all of these household things out of my planner because I was writing all that information down like, don't forget to wash sheets and take the trash out and sweep and dust. And it felt redundant to be writing it all down. So it's also been really helpful to have these lists where I can say, okay, I'm doing housework for the next 15 minutes. What do I need to do? versus I'm in my office and I'm working on either Jordan Essentials things or family things and what's in my planner as a to-do list of things I need to work on for that part of my life. So separating them out to, to the area that I use them in and how I use them has helped me as well. So that is my updated Fly Lady control journal system. Once again, a great big thank you to That Awkward Mom. I've really enjoyed her videos. She's given me kind of a fresh, updated approach to doing the Fly Lady system. And I'm so grateful for her and finding her videos, which of course inspired me to get my control journal updated to something that's actually working and it's much simpler. So I'm really grateful to her. I'll link her channel down below, like I mentioned. Let me know in the comments if you are using the Fly Lady system, if you've tried it and you felt like it was too much and you just said it's not for me, or if you have some other system. I know there's lots of other good ones out there. There's the Clean Mama system. There's a couple of other ones. Um, so basically, you know, we all have our ways of keeping up with the home in some way or fashion. And I just love hearing what's working for each of us and why. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos because that lets me know to make more of them. And I will see you again soon. Bye.